Hey everyone, welcome back to some more Super Auto Pets. My name is, of course, APQ. Had a bit of an issue there trying to get um, my recording software to record. So uh, we're going to give it a go anyway. It's going to be a bit of a questionable one. Wow, we're the only person in the versus queue at the minute. Hopefully we can go already up to four. Okay, nice. Come on, two more. I'm hoping we can get a nice win today in versus. We didn't do too well yesterday and I'm kind of addicted to versus at the minute. So, oh, we're straight in. Okay. Going to be honest, I hate all of this. I'll take that. I could buff the otter. I mean, the mosquito. We're going to risk it with a reroll. Oh. I feel like that was kind of a risk, but you know what? We'll give it a go. We're going to be called the... Uh, the Rude Geeks, I guess. Not really the best of names there, but it's okay. I forgot we're in verses, so of course there's no need to rush our turns because we've got to wait for everybody else to finish their turns. I am starting to think I should have taken the Otter. He's the same. I suppose he's the same stats as a Cricket, but he doesn't respawn a 1-1 Cricket. But also, he would have buffed somebody else. So, like, is it worth it? I don't know. Let's see how we get on. If the Mosquitoes can kill somebody, it will be worth it. Obviously, you want to get a honeybee as early as possible too, to, uh, you know, to make sure we can win any of those early draws that we may lose otherwise. Okay, let's see what we're up against to start with. I'm scared it's going to be some like three, four fish. Let's have a look. The bearded ponies. Okay. Okay, what are we up against? Oh, he didn't buy. He didn't buy anyone. Okay, and we've already lost another player as well. So only seven of us, and one of them was AFK. Okay. okay. Nice clean win there. I am, of course, going to go for the horse. Ooh. I'm actually going to merge the mosquitoes together. You know what? Maybe not. Let's re-roll once. Ooh. Okay, I should have. You know what? A level two ant. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to commit to that, even though I would love to. I kind of want to do it now. You know what? I'm going to do it. Ah, oh, it's so stupid of me. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. Okay. Come on. Right. Two crickets, two ants, and a horse. Horse will help out the crickets a little bit, actually, so that's kind of nice, but it's only level one horse. Okay. Let's have a look. Nice. Mosquito kills the ant early on. The ant buffs people. Okay. Oh, this guy's also got. A... Okay, we're in trouble here. Yeah, of course it buffed. Okay, you know what? That's, a, that's our first loss. It's not great. That guy obviously had a better team than us. He had two fish, kind of don't like that. And here I am with my two ants. What am I doing? Like, honestly. Okay, this is interesting. Um, I really want to make this work because of the horse, but. Okay, I still want the honeybee, but there's the cricket. Okay, so maybe we're going to try a summon build today if we can get um, some more horses and some other stuff to help out. Um, who knows? Okay, we've got to wait for everybody else still, of course. So, not the greatest start, to be honest. I also kind of, I made a mistake by, uh, I made a mistake by freezing those ants so early on. <laughs> I mean, it's a level two ant now, so it's going to buff the... Horse or the mosquito quite well. I'm starting to think, is there any point of it buffing the horse? Probably prefer to put it further up the front, to be honest, to buff somebody else. Because it's quite a good, like, it's got quite good stats for this round, I think, maybe. Yeah, maybe we move the ant to the front next. Hmm. Potentially. I would quite like to get two horses as well. Maybe get rid of the mosquito. He is free free, but, oh, five, seven cricket. Okay. Well... He's only got three animals, though. Okay, there you go. Very nice. Easier than I thought it was going to be, I guess. <laughs> the innocent bamboos. He, he, he just had, like, a, a pet disadvantage, I guess. Oh, okay. Friend behind faints. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, what am I thinking right now? And to the front. Mosquito is going to go. I was going to put two horses on, but I kind of want to get this guy on right now. So I'm going to move that to the back. I'm going to put a one of you there. This guy faints twice, of course. I would like to get the honeybee still. 
Can I freeze the cricket? Try and get that guy upgraded. Freeze the spider. Okay. Would like another horse though, please. Please. Okay. Let's see what we can get with this build. So, spider's not great, to be honest. The ox, I think, should do okay for us. Um, But yeah. I really want the, I need to get the honeybee. I need to get the honeybee. I also kind of want the bone attack on the ant at the front. Just so we can make sure he kills. Just so we can make sure he kills anything that's big. A lot of people put their biggest unit up the front, of course. So someone's going to have a lot more than 4 HP soon. And that bone attack, whatever you want to call it. What's it called now? Is it just called meat? A meat stick or something now? <laughs> that's kind of weird. Um, Yeah, we could kind of do with that on the ant. But I don't have all the money in the world. Uh, and if I would like to buy the cricket spider and honeybee, it's going to take 9 of our 10 gold. So it's going to be the case. We do have to wait for someone to end their turn because they're annoying. I hate people that don't end their turns. What do we need so much time for? Like, you've only got 10 gold. It's not like TFT where you can have like a million gold. Okay, here we go. Right, the rude geeks versus the innocent bamboos again. Is this guy gonna FK? I think he might gonna FK, to be honest. Yeah, he's still just got at disadvantage because I don't think he's playing. Okay. Wait, was, was that the first guy we fought? I think he might have been. Well, I'll take a free win, I guess. Kind of makes it less competitive, but there's our level two horse. Hey, Bison is interesting. I'm thinking, honestly, sleep and pill the ant. Plus the cricket. Okay, cricket goes to the front. We've still got a spider. Okay. I kind of like the bison, but we don't need it yet. So we'll freeze the bison, I guess. We're going to merge the spiders together. In fact, I shouldn't have done that. I kind of want the cricket. kind of want the dog, because obviously this guy's going to summon, and then this guy's going to summon. I'm going to keep those two frozen. Well, I don't need to keep the bison frozen, because there isn't... Um, Yeah, because there isn't anybody with... Level 3, yeah, although the stats are better than most things on the board, but... Like, I'd actually prefer to get rid of the ox and put the bison on this early, but we can't. Um, okay. How do I look at everyone else again? Oh, yeah, like this. So, horse, 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 horse. Wow, okay. Cricket, cricket, cricket. Okay. Seems like a lot of people got the same idea with the horses. Most people are doing the two horses, which I guess I should have done. But now I've kind of got one horse, which is the same as two horses, so... Should be okay. Okay, I'm just a little bit scared though. Okay. Right, I want that honeybee still. We need a round where I can afford to get the honeybee on the horse just to save us. Okay. Okay. Why do we keep fighting the same guy? He's changed his build now, though. He's got rid of his duck and he's put a peacock on. Why? I don't get why he's not filling the bench up. Does, does he know you can have five animals? Um, Kind of weird there. Ooh, okay. A bit of scaling with the draft. That is interesting. I don't think we need it right now. There's a level two spider. There's a rooster, which is, of course, a summoning build. So, instantly I'm thinking... Now, level one rooster is actually kind of bad, I suppose. But let's try it. I still want that, but it's cool. Reroll. Don't want any of those. The honey... Oh, it's just probably unfreeze that at this point. I feel like we don't need it anymore, but... Okay. This is getting daft. Forty seconds to wait. Okay. I hate people that do this, but it's cool. So we've got a cricket, level two, kinda like it, kinda good stats, decent. The roosters only got that much attack because of the horse on this turn, so that won't last forever. So we'll get it back down to five attack, I think. Um, so Rooster's not great, level 1 with no stats, but it's a summon, so it's going to be okay, I think. 
We then got the spider. The dog obviously benefits from all the things being summoned. That's three things being summoned. So it's a few stats for the dog. Obviously the horse buffs everything that gets summoned. I'm not really sure what I'd like. We could, I suppose, get a whale in there, but then you'd probably have to get rid of the spider or the horse. But I wanted to make like an XL game mode, with like 10 slots, because it would be chaos, but I'd kind of love it. Okay, the rude geeks versus the silly underdogs. The summon build. He's got an ant with bone attack. It's going to kill our cricket. I don't like that. He's also got a horse. Oh, no. This spider's got a bee. It's going to kill our chick. Yeah, this is bad. Okay, we spawned a camel, though. Just dies. Yeah, our dog didn't get as many stats as I would have liked. Why did our dog not get stacked there? Have they changed the way the dog works? Oh, game one. Okay, yeah, that makes sense, I suppose, actually. Okay, well, the dog can go because I kind of don't care for it. I'm going to re-roll first. Maybe I should have kept the ox. You know what? Let's, let's get some sheep. Penguin is good. Good buff level twos. The spider. Okay, you're not doing it for me right now. You were a level two though, I suppose. So yeah, he was a level two, wasn't he? Okay. Got a karma on him. I think it's gonna be more important than a, let's unfreeze the honeybee. It's clear that I'm not gonna get it. We're now in a difficult part because I think I've thrown. I think I've really thrown. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, people got better builds than us. So, do we just lose to this guy? Yeah, or one of these guys. Yeah, it was this guy, wasn't it? The ant with the meat attack. I need to get this on one of our characters too. So he had basically what we were going for, only the level one horse. I guess this just kind of really threw us off, the meat attack on that. And the two sheep. Well, we've got a sheep now, which I think is better than the spider. And we've got, a, the rooster's kind of bad. Like, I'm not going to lie, the rooster isn't great. So we need to work on that and stack them up a bit. But he needs to be level two so we can get the penguin buff. What else have we got? Cricket, cricket, fish, fish, fish. Is that, oh, that guy's AFK. He's gone, yeah. This guy, I think, is AFK. He's added some more units, I suppose, to fair play. But it's going to be like a... Oh, hello. That was weird. <laughs> um, so I panicked for a sec. Okay, the rude geeks versus the bearded ponies. Oh. Okay, he was AFK as well. Right, here's a whale. Whale interests me. At least it's level one, but it also doesn't interest me. Especially about the dog now, so... I'm actually going to go canned food and be a maniac instead. None of these look good to me, so I'm going to go canned food again. And because we can't buy anybody or really re-roll, I'm going to throw a salad bowl into the mix. Okay, wish it would have buffed the rooster a little bit, but 11, 10 cricket's kind of nice. Penguin is buffing the cricket and the horse. Just need that sheep and that rooster to hit level two so they can receive the buffs as well. Um, I think I'd prefer a monkey over a penguin at this point, though, just to really kind of get the cricket going. Um, need some more horses as well. This isn't looking great for us, I must be honest. Uh, I don't, don't think the rooster's too great at the moment, but sheep's okay. Well, I mean, if we can get high level sheep, obviously it's brilliant, but a level one sheep with the level two horse kind of is okay, so I'll take it. So I'll wait another 50 seconds for everybody to finish their turns because they're all idiots. This guy's out, this guy's out, this guy's out. So all three of us are basically going for summon builds, it looks like at the minute. We've got what well, we've got a spider and an ox and a sheep, a mosquito and a horse. Level one horse though. Spider, spider, budgie. So it was like three spiders basically. And two horses. One of them's got okay stats. It's kind of spooky to be honest. They are level one spiders though. Um and then and camel, fish, fish, camel. Kind of toxic, but it's just, it's just a strong, healthy build. Especially with that ant with meat attack. He can kill our cricket straight away. Um, which kind of sucks. So it's kind of spooky. Okay, we'll give it a go though. We can still improve our team from here. Um, the Rude Geeks versus... Gushing sardines. Okay, this is the guy with the budgie. So his spiders are kind of weak though, which is what I'm kind of hoping. Oh. Okay, you know what? That's not bad from us. We killed a lot of his respawns already. And now he's got no more respawns after this, so he's just got to kill the horse. Oh yeah, nice. Nice and easy. Let's go. Okay. Kind of clean in the end. Um, 
We are second place. We don't have 11 HP. Hoping for something good. We've got another cricket. I suppose I can take that. Don't really like any of the rest, so I'm going to re-roll. Chocolate. I kinda, I'm going to freeze the chocolate. I'm going to... I want to put it on the chicken. Honestly, I think putting this on the rooster is still good, even without the rooster's attack. I'm not going to use chocolate yet. There's the monkey. So this obviously isn't great, but I think it's going to be better for the time being. <laughs> Just because it's going to buff the cricket more. It's like it's not, it's not going to buff the horse anymore, but do we, really, do we really need the horse buffing that much? Like it's stats buffing that much? I don't think so. So um, I prefer the monkey there because you can give higher stats to the cricket, which right now is kind of our only win condition. The rooster's got bone attacks. I'm hoping it can kill somebody on its own. Obviously, the second or the chick that comes out of the rooster won't have bone attack. But I'm fine with that, I think. Um, sheep is worrying me at the minute. Maybe we can improve the sheep. I still want a level 3 horse. It's getting spooky, to be honest, but we should be okay. Has anyone, has anyone changed their teams? He's got a deer. Okay, so two deers, I guess. I think the budgie cop is it. This guy's up. Everyone's doing summon budgie builds. Is this is this the way to win at the minute? Kind of weird. I don't know if I like it, but here we go. That's the end of the countdown for this round. Round nine. Please, please, please say we perform okay here, so I don't stress. We're against the gushing sardines again. Okay. Our cricket should do comfortable. That turtle's a bit toxic though. Okay, our turtle still looks comfortable. I mean, our cricket still looks comfortable here. Yeah, nice. Our cricket killed all the respawns on his own. Very nice. And then the horse gets killed by the sheep. So we end up with two rams anyway. There you go. It's quite nice. Still in second place, though. Um, I want to fight the peculiar gems, please. Or actually, do I want to fight the peculiar gems if he's getting strong? Okay, this is obviously quite a strong... This is a really strong unit, actually. I don't think we, I want to get rid of the horse yet, so I'm going to re-roll instead. And again. There's two chocolate. Now, this is kind of insane. I want to give it to the monkey, I think, more than anybody else. So I'm just going to freeze both of those for now. There's the horse. Okay, we'll freeze the horse, and we're going to upgrade the monkey. Because the monkey's now going to give the cricket plus six plus six at the end of the turn. Snake is really good. And I'm thinking maybe we just replace the sheep with it because we're getting to a point where I don't know if this build's going to work. Okay. So, not keeping the snake. We're going we're gonna to try and commit to the summon build here. I mean, obviously we've got a monkey, which isn't really part of the summon build, but the cricket's getting strong, so we take those. 21-20 cricket with garlic armor is kind of nice. We just, if they get past the cricket, we're in trouble. Like a scorpion would obviously delete our cricket, so we need melon armor pretty soon. Uh, well, I don't think anyone, anybody's at a state to get at a stage to get scorpions yet. So, okay, um, these guys really need to adapt a little bit. Like I know we're not adapting, but at least we've got a monkey and a rooster. These guys are still on spiders, budges, oxes. I mean, he's got a sheep as well. Oh, this guy's got a turkey. Oh, okay, okay, that guy's got a turkey. I don't know if I've ever bought a turkey, so I'm kind of spooked, but... Okay, the rude geeks. Okay, he's got a bus. Level 1 bus, though, is just not too bad. It does get buffed to oblivion, of course. Oh, that that builds. Okay, turkey horse is needed, I think, by us. Okay, that's nice, though. That's nice. Oh, hang on. No, his are a lot stronger. Yeah, okay, it's not nice. We lose. Wow, Okay. We need a level 2 turkey, like, immediately. That was so strong. I guess that's why it's first place. Just going to do this, I guess. Could have searched for a turkey. Oh, there's a boar. Boars are kind of fun, but not today. There's a sheep. I'd like you. I think we're doomed, to be honest, until we get a turkey. I'm uh, Like, I'm deadly serious, I don't think. Unless the, we can, like, survive long enough to let the cricket outscale... The turkey, but like if he gets a level three turkey, I think we're doomed. Oh, I should never end my turn so early. Yeah, that. Oh, this guy's got a turkey as well. Uh, oh, the fact that all four of us are going for the same build is kind of terrifying. Um, I don't like it. Does the honeybee even work on this sheep? Because surely it spawns two rams there and there. 
So there's no room for a bee to spawn. Kind of sus. Um, this guy doesn't stand a chance. This guy is getting there with his turkey. But this guy, a level 2 turkey, is terrifying. So what does that give them? Plus 6, plus 6. So the bus becomes strong. Um, like what? Fair 12, 13, something like that. Every, uh, no, what was it? Was it 11? I can't remember what attack the bus had when it killed us a second ago. But it's going to keep killing us and our rooster, so it's, it is an issue. Um, okay, end of the turn. Can't, I don't want to lose three more lives, please. Are we fighting the same guy? Please, no. Please, not the peculiar. Oh, we are. Okay. So, here we go. It gets plus six, plus six from the turkey and some from the horse. Okay, our cricket is... I think we might have done well with the cricket outscaling there. Oh, not these again. Never mind. Ignore everything I said. Wait. We draw. Okay. We draw against the big guy at the top. We'd have won it if we had that honeybee that I kept for so long. Okay. I'm going to go canned food because this is going to buff this sheep a bunch. Look at that. I uh, don't want that. I'm going to reroll once. Okay, we should go canned food. This is interesting though. Maybe I should have put that on, but look at the stats on some of these guys. Now we just need to survive a few turns. Once again, the cricket is further outscaling that team that we can't beat. So if he hasn't changed his team too much this time around, our cricket should be able to outlast the sheep, which will be nice. So, or the budgie, I guess. Okay. Not bad, to be honest. Not bad. We, we still haven't got a level 3 cricket, which is hilarious, but nothing the chocolate bar won't solve. Although I probably want to upgrade the monkey or the horse for that, to be honest. The sheep at 11.7 is nice. The rooster, I'm worried about because it's level 1. Level 1 rooster's not good. And he's only got 5 attacks, so the rooster's spawning with hardly any attack. Or the chick is spawning with hardly any attack, sorry, when the rooster faints. So that needs to be improved. It's kind of where we're slacking the most right now. Like, meat attack's not going to save him, you know, past this round, round 12, so. Um, there's only three of us left now. We've all got horses. This guy's got a penguin now. Still needs to adapt a little bit. He's still got tier 1, tier tier one, tier 2, tier 2. I don't even know what a sheep is. Tier 2, tier 3. Okay, we'll give it a go. Who are we against? If we're against the top guy, we might win again. To be fair. We might win this time. We're not. Okay. We should beat this guy. He's got a shark. Okay, adapting. Oh, blowfish. Melon armor ox. Lol, oh, comfortable. Comfortable. Oh, here come the sheep. Okay, the shark's getting strong. I see this guy might have actually adapted quite well. No. I lied. Fair play to him for getting a shark, though. It, it scared me for a little bit there. Um, this guy's still on 12. Okay. Ooh, summon a 5-5 five, five fly in its place. Works three times per turn if a friend faints. Hmm, okay. Works three times. You're going to faint, summon a 5-5 five, five fly. You're going to faint, summon a 5-5 five, five fly. You're going to faint. That should be enough, I think. Though if you faint, you're not going to have room to summon one, are you? So you need to be further back. You need to be like there, I think. Okay. Let's re-roll a bit. Okay. Turkey. Do we get rid of the monkey? Is this where we get rid of him? Give plus two. Give plus three, plus three. Do we need the horse? I kind of want to keep this guy going. Oh, God, this is horrible. Who do I get rid of for the turkey? I think the horse, honestly. I think this buff in the cricket is going to make us win. Okay. I'm just going to buff um, nobody. I'm going to buy a monkey. Oh, that's good. Don't want the tiger. The cricket. A freezer cricket. Okay, I almost choked. Okay. Level 3 cricket next turn. Chocolate bar next turn for a level 3 monkey. Although I think I'm going to use it on the turkey, to be honest. Okay, this is the top guy. He's got a fly as well, though. He's also got rid of his horse. Okay, we both got a fly turkey. 
He's got a level two turkey though, so yeah, we're in trouble because our cricket's dead. Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. You know what? We'll take a draw. It's notified that we would win if we had a honeybee. It's just the two of us left now. There's the honeybee. Do we want to put it on him or do we just want to stack this guy up instead? Chocolate. Okay, I'm going to leave it frozen. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to leave it. No, I don't need to buff this guy anymore. Like, we can't really swap anybody out for the front. So you need to stay for a little bit and then we'll probably swap you out, to be honest. I'm going to freeze the honey because it might help us win. What's he got at the front? A deer. Yeah, no point for a scorpion then. There's a turkey though. So that's good on the turkey next round, I guess. No more crickets needed. Thinking, should we swap the... Because obviously we've got to get rid of the monkey probably like next turn. Yeah, I think he's going to be a level 50-50 cricket the next turn. So we swap the monkey out. I was thinking a shark. But then also a snake behind the cricket. Because look how many times he attacks. He attacks a lot. There we go. We got through a big amount of sheep there. Here is some more sheep coming in though. Okay, nice. This is nice. This is we win this. Nice. Let's go. Okay. We're still second place, but he's only one life ahead of us. Okay, so the turkey obviously gives it six six now. That's huge. There's a monkey to make it level three. I don't think it's going to matter though, to be honest, mate. Now, the only thing I can really add for now that isn't like really good is... Oh, I've been a shark for now. I was going to say we could add a monkey to level three and then move someone else to the front. But who are we going to move to the front? If you move the sheep to the front, it can't spawn two sheep. If you spawn the fly to the front, it loses its ability. Same with the turkey. So it's got to be this way around, I guess. So the monkey will go. We will for now get a shark in its place. We will re-roll one more time. Deal eight damage to the last enemy. But the shark gets plus two, plus one when he faints. How many people are going to faint? You faint once, twice, three, four, five. Then you've also got three flies on there as well. So eight, nine, ten. He's going to get plus 20 attack, I'd imagine then. And then you could put an extra life on someone as well, just to be toxic maybe. Give this guy an extra thing on the turkey just to be toxic. I'm going to unfreeze that. I don't think we need that anymore. Okay, what's this guy changed about his team then? I feel like we've outplayed him here. Oh, he's just he's put extra life on the turkey as well and on the deer. Interesting. Give me a 1 1 deer. I know it's not. It's a fly. Okay, well, that was interesting. I'm trying to figure out how that works. Nice from the cricket there. Look at, our, look at our shark in the background, guys. Look at his HP and his attack going up. This is looking nice for the shark. Not that we even need the shark. We had a 32-21 shark without all of our pets fainted. Wow. That was a comfortable comfortable round. And guess what? There's another shark. Let's re-roll. Penguin's interesting, but we don't need it. So, canned food is also interesting, but we don't need it. Melon armor. You know what? Let's be toxic. Um... Put it on the shark. Like I said, I don't think we're going to need it, but... Alright, this is looking comfortable now. The sheep is still not great, but it's it's doing its job, I guess. Here we go again. What's he changed? Has he changed anything? I don't think so. I think he's panicking and maybe just re-rolling looking for stuff. Okay. Come on. This is so this is so comfortable. Why am I saying come on? We've we've destroyed this guy. Easy. Easy dub. One more win. One more round and he's gone. So he needs to change something drastically, but I don't think he's gonna be able to. Because we are comfortable. Then put this on the fly to be toxic. Chocolate. We can give it to the shark, I guess. I always think we should give it to the sheep, to be honest. I feel like the sheep deserves it more. You know, he's been here for so long. Well. Oh, we're we going straight into it. Goodbye, my friend. This is the easiest win of my life. The peculiar gems. Oh, wreck. Oh, wreck. 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 Oh, my God. 
feels so unfair. Lol. Oh no. It's so easy. This poor guy. He had such a good build until about five turns ago when I just outplayed him. Very nice. Didn't even need the use of the shark or the turkey or the fly. To be fair, the cricket and the sheep kind of did it all. I guess with the fly's ability, of course, and the turkey's ability, but didn't need their physical presence. That was a pretty nice win. I am the best versus player in the world, I swear. Also, it's my first time doing a full summon build. I'd never bought a turkey and fly before, so still the uh, the pretty strong combo. I feel like we could have, to be honest, I don't feel like we played the best players there. I feel like a lot of the time in versus, you come across um, people that just maybe a bit like me and don't adapt until it's too late. Um, but yeah, I'm adapting earlier than them, so it's kind of interesting. Like, you see me in arena, I get destroyed in arena because obviously those teams are too good for me. Uh, but thanks everyone for watching today's video. We are approaching Christmas, so I hope everybody is off work or off work soon. Or even if you're not off work, I just hope you get to be with your family and friends and loved ones this Christmas. The world's still a bit of a spooky place at the minute, so uh, there's a lot of my friends and stuff that can't be home. So hopefully you guys can be. Um, and hopefully we'll have a good Christmas. Uh, I will be posting throughout Christmas and New Year. I don't really plan on stopping. To be honest, I do plan on upping the content after Christmas and New Year, though, um, to get a few more videos a day and streams coming back and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, thank you for all your support recently. It's been loved, honestly, making me feel very happy. So I can't thank you all enough. Um, but that's going to do it for today's video, guys. So if you're new around here, please subscribe. Uh, I do post daily again. I used to post three videos a day. Then I stopped. Now I'm back posting one a day. It's going to it's going to increase soon, though, I promise. Um and yeah, I do stream on Twitch, just not at the minute. So if you want to follow me on Twitch when I do stream, the link's in the description, but it is twitch.tv forward slash APQ live. And same goes for my Twitter, twitter.com forward slash APQ live or at APQ live, I guess. But link's in the description along with my Discord. So if you want to join that, feel free. But until next time, everybody, goodbye.